In the fresh bid to give Syria's peace efforts a breath of life, the new international envoy will head to the country in the next few days. Lagdar Brahimi admits his mission has deep challenges with fighting on the ground, reaching fresh levels of cruelty every day. Most recently, activists linked to the opposition have confirmed the rebels executed at least 20 pro-government soldiers last week in the flashpoint city of Aleppo. The man had been bound and blindfolded before being killed. But as Tessa Arcelia reports, peace attempts in Syria are further undermined by foreign powers taking sides. The new joint UN and Arab League special envoy to Syria, Lakmar Brahimi, who's been tasked with trying to broker a peace plan to end the 18-month-long conflict in Syria, has just called his task, quote-unquote, nearly impossible. Now, this is a difference uh, to the stand he took when he first got the job. He was optimistic in the beginning, uh, thinking that he could help uh, pave the way for peace between the warring uh, sides in Syria. We've also heard from the UN uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who has condemned the uh, Assad regime uh, for all the atrocities they've been committing against the Syrian people, but also the rebel groups and condemning both sides, saying that they've been choosing violence and force rather than dialogue. We've also heard from the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navi Pillai, who in the past have, has been staunchly uh, critical of the Assad regime and blaming, condemning the regime for their treatment and their actions in this conflict. But she's also come out and spoken against the rebel groups and any uh, groups or armed groups that have been uh, committing atrocities against the Syrian people. She said that all sides should be held responsible for all their actions. Well, we've heard from the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton as well as French President Francois Hollande, both been expressing uh, their support for the Syrian rebels. France has already been sending aid to three uh, rebel regions uh, in Syria uh, as, as of recently. Now, with a lack of consensus from the international community on how to approach a situation, as well as conflicting messages on whose side is responsible for the atrocities, the support that is being given uh, to one side versus another, it's not hard to uh, understand why Lakmar Brahimi has been calling his task now as nearly impossible. And the editor-in-chief of the Syria Tribune believes it's not just Western diplomatic support for the rebels that is hindering the international peace efforts. Only if the country is backing the rebels and uh, sending them weapons and money stop doing so, we can have a peaceful resolution of the crisis. If, if uh, Lakhdar Ibrahimi is capable of convincing these countries, and I doubt it, then yes, he has a chance. If not, then I don't see he has any. Now, when you say that you are supporting El Ibrahimi's mission uh, to reach a peaceful resolution, you should not be say, uh, supporting sending weapons to militia, and especially that this militia is well known now for being Islamic radical militia and for committing committing atrocities against civilians. What's happening in Syria is quite similar to what, has, what happened before in Afghanistan in the 80s. And yet, the French president is determined to send those militia weapons, and yet he claims that he, he supports a peaceful resolution. He's lying.